Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, discussing some transfer news, obviously, to do with Celtic. The news has broke that Celtic confirmed the loan signing of Mohamed El Yunusi from Southampton yesterday night, which is just a fantastic sign. I think we can all sit down, we can appreciate, and be very pleased with the sign. Yesterday's video, I sat down and I spoke about how we were going to make a video and how I was going to discuss the transfer business over the past couple of months of Celtic and how it started off great and, and recently it's been dry and it's not been good enough and ultimately how the squad is suffering with not having enough depth and, and, and you know not having enough options throughout the squad. This is a fantastic signing for Celtic and we'll come out a lot of it, kind of rushed right into things, I just dived right into it. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. I have not made videos in a while, just get back into the swing of things so you might not even know I exist and if you're just coming across me, well, please do so. It would help out the channel a lot. But Mohamed El is signing on loan for a year uh, in the left wing position. If you're unfamiliar with him, you're looking at technically a very good player, a goal scoring threat. A player that ultimately we've needed um, over the past couple of years, you've seen the likes of Scott Sinclair struggle on the left-hand side. Johnston, you got to feel sorry for a bit if he does get replaced, but I don't think that'll be the case. I, I imagine we'll sort something out that Johnston still gets his you know, fair share of first-team football and the amount that he deserves was starting this season because ultimately, Mikey Johnson, you could say, has been the most impressive starting this season within the Celtic squad. He has been magical to watch. Technically, he's been fantastic. He's been scoring goals, assisting goals, causing problems for full-backs running down that wing. You're looking at a very talented young player who's still obviously progressing and we want to give him that time to progress. But this is an experienced option, a 25-year-old um, that El Yunusi is, who has played for the likes of Basel, Southampton, Mulder. He's experienced. He knows how to play football. That is a definite. Now, if, if you're, I, I've been in the channel for a while. I'm sure, I don't know if it was just a personal one, but I signed El Yunusi on a Celtic career mode in this channel. So, a bit of a personal connection to the guy here. So, chuffed to see this one come through. And it came out of the blue. Let's talk about that for a minute. El Yunusi just signing from absolutely nowhere. Celtic keeping this one completely under wraps. Uh, the Norwegian international coming in. Surprising even Christopher Ayer. He said he didn't, he didn't tell him. And you hear everything he said in these interviews. Ready to go. It's someone who ultimately we could throw into the team tomorrow against Rangers. And I think he could cause the likes of James Tavener a very, very hard day. Um, I think it could cause him a lot of problems and oh, honestly he offers so much to Celtic when it comes to creating and finishing he's a, he's a proven goal scorer yes at Southampton you could say he struggled the step to the Premier League is never going to be easy he's had 16 appearances for Southampton not doing much not getting any goals but if you look at the rest of his career if you just sum it up all together I mean 83 goals 49 assists throughout his career a very good record uh, and before he went to Southampton 18 goals and 11 assists at Sarpsborg this is a player who knows how to score he knows what he's doing, technically gifted, um, an international player as well, he's played for his country many a times. We're looking at someone who could be potentially very special for Celtic and he'll be hungry to show his parent club, Southampton, that he has got worth and that he'll want to go back to the Premier League probably, which we shouldn't have a problem with. We know we're signing him in a loan deal. People, if he performs, will want him to come back and stay. We've seen it with Patrick Roberts, but ultimately this is a step for him to try and prove his worth, prove that he's still got that ability and he definitely will. Once you have it, you don't use it, rarely do you lose it and we're looking at a player with tremendous technical ability I believe, it's an outstanding sign and I think the majority of Celtic fans would agree if you look over Twitter, if you look over any social media Celtic fans are buzzing about the prospect of Elian Ussi coming into the team he's going to help us on so many fronts domestically and on a European scale he's played in Europe before of course with Basel and Mulder, the interesting thing that I picked up on and I think everybody would have picked up on in his interview if you've watched it He's dealt with this sort of situation before and he's performed at this situation before. Obviously Basel, the team that runs Switzerland basically, they win the league year in, year out, they're the top side. Very resembling to Celtic, they try and get into Champions League football. It's the same sort of situation and he'd done really well there. He enjoyed his time there and um, he managed to bag some goals and some assists as well. And he done so well, you know, picking up quite a, a, a decent, you know, performance level consistently. And um, he can bring that same level to Celtic. You're looking at a team in the same situation. They want to win every week, win the title every year. It is the aim. He knows the pressures of playing for a club like Celtic. He dealt with it at Basel. And now he's coming over here to repeat that. And I honestly believe there's nothing but positives coming from this signing. Obviously, Celtic have signed a lot of flops over the years. And even flops that have had this kind of build. I know a more reputable build have came over to the club and have not performed. But I honestly do believe that this man will be... Nothing but a top signing for Celtic. And it gives us a lot of options going forward now. Um, you feel like 
going forward, the depth we have on our side is fantastic. If you look from left to right, on the right-hand side, you've got the options of Forrest, Shved. In the middle, you've got Christie. You can even bring McGregor in forward. You've got Tom Rogic. Um, you've got on the left-hand side now, Sinclair, El Yanusi and Johnson, Edward Griffiths and Bayo up front. Going forward, we have a fantastic selection of players. And it's, it's pretty much a team that you know can go and secure us nine in a row this season. Keep the head concentrate, play consistently week in, week out and we should be winning nine in a row without any issue whatsoever. Uh, a fantastic squad uh, depth going forward now. This has just added another dimension to our, our game I imagine and it'll be interesting to see what exact style of play that El Yunusi will bring down that left hand side. Uh, obviously Sinclair's fell off a little bit over the past couple of years. You feel like defenders have kind of figured him out. His style has been kind of numbed by that. Um, but El Yunusi bringing something fresh something that will, you know, surprise defenders. I think surprise us and it will entertain us as well, which is obviously a very important fact. So, Mohamed El Yunusi, a fantastic sign. I'm chuffed. Celtic have pulled that one out the bag right towards the end here. Along with the signing, which should be confirmed over the coming hours, I imagine, if you listen to Hugh Keevan speaking on the radio just, just now, if you listen to the papers online, the papers this morning, if you look at it all, it looks as though Greg Taylor has got his one... One of his feet, on his one foot in the Celtic Park door. Um, it looks as though he will be getting confirmed as a Celtic player. He's been left out of the Kilmarnock squad today. All signs point towards Greg Taylor signing for Celtic. A fantastic option at left back. Um, someone who I've been saying for a little while now I'd like to come to Celtic. Um, as that left back option if Tierney was to leave, which he did leave. Um, so Greg Taylor I think will be a, a great signing. Obviously someone who has not played at the level of a, a Celtic Celtic team. He's been uh, at Kilmarnock the last few seasons, but he's very young. He's an international. He's played for Scotland. Um, this is a guy who we've seen first hand in this league and against us perform incredibly well. And I think he is ready to step up uh, to, to play for a team like Celtic. I think he's ready to give us performances um, defensively and going forward, which are what we are looking for. I'm not taking anything away from Bolly. Um, I think a lot of fans have been harsh on him. But Greg Taylor is going to be a fantastic option um, to keep, you know, both of them competing against each other to be in the team. Yet both of them offering different things and just overall quality to that back line. Because we need to improve the back line. There's no denying that. The back line is scarce in depth. It is scarce in quality, you fear, at points uh, when you look at it. But I think now if we get a solid back four sorted, a fit back four, whether that... The back four right now in my head I can picture for the, for the majority of the season being Bauer, Ayer, Julian and Taylor. Now if they four can learn how to play together and... Um, Offer their, offer their strongest attributes, which we know what Ayers are. Ayers is just Ayers the best player in the team at points. You feel um, Taylor, we, we've seen firsthand what he's good at. If he can play his best and improve at Celtic at this age as well, you're looking at a quality left back. And then Julian and Bauer, we've yet to see the best of them. We've not even seen Bauer. If we can get all four of them playing their best football, we're looking at a solid back four with the depth being there and Bolly being the backup left back, Elamid being the backup right back, and you've got Jozo and Baton. Um, still there at the centre half positions to come in whenever we need them honestly two fantastic signings to pull out right at the end of the transfer window and it might not even be done we might still be in there to sign one more player try and get someone in very satisfying end to the window um honestly cannot complain greg taylor if it was up to me i would throw right into the team tomorrow against rangers i think it is a a very wise decision to bring Greg Taylor into the team against Rangers tomorrow. Um, that's if he obviously officially signs today. Now, my reasoning for that is, yes, it's throwing him into the deep end, but throwing Bolly in, and if Bolly has a bad performance, he's already came under enough tyranny from us. For some reason, just people aren't taking to him at all. He's already came under enough pressure, I believe. If he has a bad performance tomorrow, it could damage his confidence big time. Greg Taylor has played against Rangers so many times. Yes, it's a different magnitude of game. He's played against Rangers. He's performed very well against Rangers. He's defeated Rangers. He's played against Celtic. He's defeated Celtic. They've got a very, he's got a very strong, firm understanding of what to expect against Rangers. Uh, and yes, it might change in this this game. It's a massive, massive game. It's different from the rest. But Greg Taylor coming in, um, I believe, really benefits Bolly Bolingoli because if he has that terrible performance, which could happen. It saves the damaged confidence of him. And Greg Taylor, it won't be the end of his Celtic career. It's the first game. He's only at 24 hours within signing. It's understandable if he doesn't have a great game, but I think he knows what to do. He's an international player as well at the end of the day. 
um, you're looking at a player who is more than capable. So Celtic pulling out two fantastic signs towards the end of deadline. Do you think we will sign anyone else uh, in the coming days before the window ends? Or do you believe that is the business done as we head into the big game tomorrow? Which will be the video, obviously, the review of that game as soon as the match has finished. If you've enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know your opinions of the transfers below. And I'll see you all next time.